Hey everybody, how's it going? So, I got a review on a product I received for testing. Um, it's about two and a half, almost three months ago. Um, you might remember the Desert West um, phone um, mount slash holder for your, your window in your truck. So we're gonna go through what I like about it, what I don't like about it, how well it's lasted, any issues I've had. Please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you there. Hey everybody, so sorry about the sun. It's kind of in the way of everything, but this is the phone mount that I was referring to. Um, I haven't had any issues. Um, I've had, well, I've had actually a couple issues. Um, one issue is, is that the cup, the little rubber suction cup, it's not firm against the mount anymore. So the, it actually rotates slightly. That's one issue I've had. The other issue I've had is this side screw has come loose. Let's slide my hair. Give you a better angle. This screw right here had came loose. You can see that it moves quite a bit. Not necessarily tight anymore the other issue I've had is that you can see how this one is slightly raised and this one down here is actually pretty flush Let's see if I can get a little more light on it. I don't know if it's gonna help oh yeah it helps a little so this one's flush but this one at the top is not um, I've also had an issue with the button on the side you gotta push it like four or five times just to get it to open. And that one still doesn't close all the way like it's supposed to. Like maybe one of the teeth broke or something. Um, this is a three, a two and a half, almost three month review. It's held up pretty well. Um, the way I have it mounted, it, it does, does sit on the dash so there's not a lot of vibration the the window even though the window section is loose you can see it's loose even though the window section is loose it's not it's not causing my phone to bounce all over the place because I have it mounted to the window and then I have it sitting on the dashboard itself um, sorry about that one of the things I do not like about this mount see if I can get it open I don't like how little this side piece opens. I wish it opened another, you know, half an inch or maybe another full inch because when you clamp my phone in, my phone sticks out really far. If this piece would go back another inch or so, the phone would actually be able to sit evenly inside the mount. And that's one of the issues that I've had um, it doesn't necessarily sit evenly in the mount. And I will be going from a Note 8, Galaxy Note 8 from Samsung to a Galaxy Note 10, which is a lot bigger than this phone, so it probably will not fit in this mount. It might, I don't know. We'll have to test it in the new phone when I get the new phone. But um, it doesn't, I don't have any major issues other than the the screw that's holding the ball for this piece is loose again let me put this down real quick 
Give me a second, guys. There. I just tightened it a little bit. But all in all, it's a, it's a pretty good phone mount. Um, if you can look past some of the issues, you know, like the suction cup getting loose from the base and, and the, the base able to swing left and right like that because the suction cup is loose on the mount. And I, and I know why it's loose. It's because the spring that, that's attached to the suction cup that's a, attached to the inside of the base, that spring isn't, um, it doesn't have enough uh, spring tension. And it's kind of probably a cheap spring, so it kind of just stretched the spring instead of holding it firmly to the window. But other than that, um, I haven't had any issues with it other than the clamp section. You know, see now it's twice as high as it was a minute ago. So it's it's definitely malfunctioning. Um, I do love the telescope feature, and if I can get this, pop this, and see if I can get it off the window. It's kind of stuck on the window. definitely stuck on the window you can see where it's kind of deformed the rubber rubber is pretty soft at the moment you can actually peel it see so it's uh, that's kind of to be expected in this hot state of Arizona so I'm gonna have to clean the residue off the window because there's Still some of it stuck to the window. It did hold. It's just this section right here, the rubber piece, you can see it's loose. So that's the main issue. And this spring tension isn't tight enough because of the weight of it. I do like the telescope. It actually fits, fully extended on the telescope, fits very well. Comes off just about a half an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch, a little less than a half an inch or so from uh, the dash. So it actually sits, I would say, yeah, about, about a half an inch off the dash. So there's enough room that you can actually swivel the head with no issues. Get my keys and we go talk about it inside a little more. doing a sneak peek uh, and testing on this one right here um, that has wireless charging I got that for testing to do which I really see videos ready for that but to talk about this one get my tripod here a little easier to see in here so you can see that the rubber is peeling back from the actual mount because it's so hot outside so 
that's normal for states like mine, Arizona, California, certain places in California. If you let it sit in the house a little while, it'll reharden where it would be usable again. But the main problem I'm having is you pull this hinge back to open this and push the spring out because there's a spring right here in the center. And I think that spring is just a weak spring. So when you clamp this against the window, it's you push this hinge in, it's supposed to suck the spring in, it's supposed to suck this against the window. And it's supposed to keep it from flexing, but if you, you push while the it's in, you can see how much flex it has. But I do like the dual hinges I just noticed this one right here, this screw right here, tightening screw was quite loose. Um, and I just tightened it back up. Um, this one has stayed pretty tight. I didn't really need to turn it much. I do like the extension, it's really nice. I also like the ball style mount it has. I did tighten this ring up while we were talking in the truck. Um, I just wish this was a little longer. There's another thing I like about this is it's got this slot here. So if you put your phone in, like my phone, it's in the center. So if you put the phone in, see what I mean by it? didn't want to open it on its own for some reason so put this up against it mount it down tighten it as best I can and then what I like is you could just flip this open it's got access right there for your charging cable so I like that. I could plug my phone in while it's mounted on this and the cord's not in the way. Nothing's in the way. Um, which is very nice feature that I like. Um, so that's, that's a plus in my opinion. I think there is I think one of the teeth is broken. I think that's what happened. Because now it's not it's not going down the second clip. I think it's completely broken for for the price it is I don't think it's a bad mount I think uh, I'll put a link in the description um, for the, the product if you want to go check it out in all honesty what I would do is because it's just a ball mount I would pop this off and for an example like this one this uh, electronic one, which also has a charging mount for the, this one actually wireless charges, so it'll just charge through here. This one is also a ball mount. What I would do is I would purchase this mount, because this is a good mount, and I would put another one on it. Another uh, unit. I don't know if this one will fit on here though. This ring probably will. I don't know. It might be different size balls. It doesn't look like a different size. Nope. Just use the ring that came with your other mount. Bam. You got this style mount with this chargeable rechargeable wireless qi head so that's always an option you can always do something like that where you i really like this mounting bracket 
a lot. Um, even though it's got a little problems with it, you know, doesn't bother me that it's got some problems. But instead of using the mount it came with, or, or you can use this mount, the, the phone holder it came with, but when it fails, like, you know, obviously mine has failed, um, you can always take it off, go to Walmart, get a different style ball mount uh, phone holder, and you can put any one you want on it. This one is motorized, which I will be doing a review on soon. So you push this tab or this tab on this one, and these arms automatically open. And then when you put your phone in it, when you actually drop your phone in it, the arms will automatically close for you. You don't have to worry about it. So this is a nice mount. I will be doing a review on it pretty soon. Um, so um, just a little review, you know, you can, you can put any phone holder you would like, including a QR charging fold holder on this style mount. You don't have to use the Desert West if you don't want to. The Desert West has served me well. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a pretty good product. Um, for the price tag, I think it's a little high on price. I think it was like 30 something dollars. Let me look real quick. I was actually physically PayPal'd the money to purchase these items, so I, did, I didn't actually purchase them. I didn't pay for them. The money was sent to me uh, to pay for them to review. I bought it on June like 3rd. Yeah, June 3rd. So I didn't actually pay for it. The company that wanted me to review it paid for it, which they could have just sent it to me in the mail for free. They didn't have to send me money, but um, the them sending me the money and me purchasing it with their money, the only good thing about that is I can actually write reviews about it. Um, this mount is $20. It's $19.99. So in all honesty, for the... $19.99. I honestly think this is a really good product. Um, if this fails, screw it. It doesn't matter. Go buy uh, another. Go buy another mount, a phone mount, any style that you like, as long as it has a ball hitch, the ball clamp, and you should be good. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon if you guys want to see future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links. I will leave in the description below. I will leave a link to this phone mount if you want to go check it out for yourself or you want to purchase it. I will link this phone mount in a later date um, after I get you know some good reviews on it. The other difference is this one has a black rubber uh, mount suction cup. This one has a silicone suction cup um, Silicone suction cups don't work very well in heat. They melt the rubber ones um, Do better in heat. So we're gonna mount this one give this one a try and see how well it works and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching Peace.